Things will never be the same after this. People are very much engrossed in keeping up with the lives of others, what they are, what they have, what they have done. These things matter. Everything does. Truth be told, people keep track of these things not just for the sake of it, but to know what to outmatch. There's this painful urge that pokes you like a needle. Warranting the feeling to tower above others, have more than what they have, and outdo what they did. Unfortunately, this unsaid contention is what keeps us going. All of these things mattered. Yes, all of them did. And then all of a sudden, they did it. Who got the highest score? Whose house is bigger? Whose position is higher? Who's better at this or that, or who looks better? They don't mean anything anymore. In a much bigger scope, it doesn't even matter suddenly which university has the highest passing rate, or which country has the highest economic growth. Suddenly, they don't count anymore. Now we face one of the worst adversaries and no one can see it. All we can see for sure is that it has scraped everything plain and bare. Getting ahead and winning those silent competitions now seem trifling in the face of this pandemic. Apparently, they bear no weight. We are left with realizations. We now realize how deep we are into the lion's mouth. We now realize what truly holds significance, what really matters. With the lockdown, we are given all the time in the world to reflect on everything that has happened. Now we have time to forge better bonds with people we hold dear. We have time to kneel down and pray. We have time to read His Word. There's time to think of what's worth spending our money on, what help we can offer and what we can do to change the whole living dynamic after this predicament is over. If a little bit of the lockdown spiritual taught me anything, it's to hold on to things you love even closer. Maybe it's about time we reevaluate the presence of certain things in our lives. That maybe we have to free pointless things from our hold in order for us to fix a good grip on the things that truly count. With the current situation, what counts is our lives and our humanity. This can only be realized when we clear out those frivolous clutter. Only by then will we become conquerors of our own negativity and self-centeredness. And only by then will altruism prevail. In these present times, it's crucial to look out for each other and cast our differences aside. This was but natural. Altruism can only be achieved in the absence of selfishness and coincident with the efforts to combine love and unity. Maybe it's time we set our eyes on others. Maybe it's time we let our sacrifice matter. Because out of all the things in the world, God gave us one life to live. One life to be a light in the presence of darkness. One life to matter. Things should never be the same after this.